the two aluminum rods support the vertical force of 20 kN, determine their required diameters if the allowable tensile stress for the aluminum is 150 MPa. So here's the figure and here's the free body diagram for it. So what I did, uh, first of all, what I did was I took the summation about y-axis, so I have negative 20 plus. So this for F, A, B, you can break it down into A, X, and Y components. Okay, so for the Y components, you have F, A, B times psi 45, which is square root of 2 over 2, okay? <laughs> and this equal to 0. Then solve for the unknown, I got FAB equals 20 square root of 2 kilonewtons. Now let's do the summation about x-axis. I have negative FAC plus FAB times cosine 45. So FAB is 20 square root of 2. Cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Set that equal 0. And then so I found out that FAC is 20 kilonewtons. Now the normal stress in cable AB is equal to normal force AB divided by the area. So plug in the values. FAB is 20 square root of 2 times 10 times 1000 to get newtons divided by the area, which is pi over 4 times d square equals 150 newton per millimeter square, which is the allowable normal stress. So for d, I got DAB equals 15.5 mm. Okay, so that is the diameter for cable AB. Now you're going to do the same thing for the cable AC. Okay, then you found out that the diameter for cable AC is equal to 13 mm. Okay, so this is a very simple question. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.